this ball costs five times as much as this ball. Will it make a difference on the course? Let's find out now on JP Golf. What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna do a test over nine holes of how much does golf ball matter. This is a Tiles AVX. It costs over $4 a ball. This is a Nitro. Nitro Crossfire costs less than a dollar a ball. How much difference is it going to make in scoring? Let's put it to the test over nine holes, see what we find out. Let's get to it. Right, so we start with a pair of fives for both a bogey on the first hole for both balls um the nitro probably out drove the titleist about 30 yards i think that's just down to strike and then second shot hit the tiles in the bunker uh able to get it out and it stopped on the green quick and then uh, the nitro came up a little bit short and wasn't able to get it up and down so uh two putt for each of those so so far we're even this is going to the second par three There's a Nitro, there's a Titleist, there's a flag. Two very similar shots. Let's see if we can make any putts. All right, I'll be honest, I don't know the rule there. I suppose that counts as a birdie. So I'm gonna give it to it. And then I made the par putt. So little kind of pool ball action there. Hit my nitro ball at Titleist. So nitro goes one shot up through two holes. It goes back to even par and the Titleist remains at one over. Kind of crazy. All right guys, so apparently in stroke play, if that would have happened, there would have been a penalty on me for hitting the other person's ball. But in match play, there is no penalty. Kind of playing stroke play, kind of playing match play. We're gonna let it go. Why not? It's a cool shot. So here's a nitro off the tee, and wrap right there is a Titleist. Uh, again, maybe 10 yards difference, probably because it caught the fairway. So. Not too much difference off the tee. All right, I wish it would have caught that title a little bit cleaner. It came up short of the green. Let's go up here though and look. This is with a 52 degree wedge, the Nitro. You can see it hit and skip forward a little bit. It's on a little bit of upslope. I don't know if you guys can tell that, so, uh, but not too bad.
so after three holes, the nitro is at even par. The title is at two over. A little bit of luck there. But now I got a birdie from that nitro. If it wouldn't have skipped off that one ball, that was not going in the hole. But them's the breaks while not having a golf course. Three holes, six more to go. Can the nitro hold the lead? Right, guys just want to talk about feel off the driver i definitely cannot feel the difference in those balls um they're really kind of soft so i've played much harder balls than that but uh i can't feel one significantly feeling any better any different if you blind folded me wouldn't be able to tell you um which one was which right. there is a nitro there's a title. This again, title is probably by 15 yards. Part of that is just it hitting the fairway, and then Nitro hitting back here in the rough. That was just two not good shots. Really would like to hit the green to see how those things reacted. And ended up hitting them both to the left. So now it's wedge time. Let's see what happens. All right guys, so through four holes and nitro's still up. Just to make this video not be super, super long, I'm gonna stop recording here, focus on my shots. If I see something really different, I'll pull up the camera and then uh, I'll either do something after each hole to say where we're at, or we will uh, meet back after nine holes and give you my opinion on where we stand on what's the difference between titles and nitro. One ball costs more than $4 a ball. One is about 75 cents a ball. So it's almost five times as much for that titleist. Is there a difference for someone like me who's a 21 handicap? All right, so we are now through six holes. Both scores for both balls are at plus three. Uh, right here on the screen, uh, both had some little chip shots. I will say the Titleist checked up a little bit quicker. Again, they were both similar distances. I hit them with the same club, and the Titleist just uh, checked up, which led to me actually getting up and down with that ball, whereas this ball, I missed the putt coming back, and two putted, so had a par with the Titleist and a bogey with the Nitro. So right now through six holes, we stand at plus three with each ball. All right, guys, so we've got a little bit of trend going on here. Uh, through seven, we are still even. So I did notice though, I had another, a uh, couple of green side chips, very similar, pretty much in the same spot. And the title is just kind of, I was able to actually put that up and give me a range about a foot. Um, the Nitro went about five feet by. Uh, I was, making, was able to make the putt, but that's the difference I'm seeing right now is around the greens. So we got two holes to go. Both balls at three over. All right, so we were done the nine holes. In the end, both balls shot a five over 41. So absolutely zero difference in scoring between this ball, cost over $4 a ball, and this one, which is about 75 cents a ball. I'm gonna shine them up. Let's see if there's any difference in what we can notice in durability wise. All right, guys, so here is my Titleist ball. Um, you can see, clean it up, no real damage to it. And here is the nitro. Um, again, some of this is scuffed up, so that's where you might see a little bit of difference. What that will affect playability going forward. Um, you don't know, it's not a lot. 
but definitely the title has held up a little bit more with its paint. All right, so there we go over nine holes. No difference in scoring between the Tile Save VX and the Nitro. One ball costs over four dollars, one seventy-five cents. So it's up to you. Uh, the only difference I really saw was again around the greens, maybe um, little small chip shots, pitch shots. The Titleist um, held up a little bit better, checked a little bit better, got me closer to the hole. But again, over nine holes, not enough to make a real difference. Uh, let's do this again. Maybe we'll go again, Titleist AVX. Give me another really budget-friendly ball that you, some of you guys play. I maybe I'll test that out. Might even trade my Titleist against just an old range ball I find. Let's see how that works out. So do a couple more videos like this. If you guys like it, let me know. Get in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned until next time here on JP Golf. Mm -hmm.